David Cameron has been accused by uh, some people within the government of trying to orchestrate regime change across the Arab world. Is this something that you agree with? Of course. With, uh, with France? Of course. It's very obvious. It's very obvious. You know, we told them, the British and the, 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 the French, we, we did challenge them. We told them, send fact-finding mission to Libya. Why do you think David Cameron is trying to orchestrate regime change across the Arab world? Come on, every, 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 everybody to wants to be a hero, wants to be uh, an important in the history. But history is based, should be built on, on uh, concrete... Uh, You're saying that David Cameron just wants to be a hero, he wants to make a name for himself. Of course. Sh now you, you are from UK, you are in Tripoli, go and, and show me the, 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 the bombardment against uh, civilian districts, the th thousands of, uh, of casualties the, with that we destroy two districts in Tripoli. Show me. No, nothing. And at the same time, you have a, a, a Security Council resolution against my country. So there is a big, big gap between reality and illusion. So they are living in their own world. Britain and America are living in their own world. Of course. World. They have no idea about what's going on. We, we told them, send fact-finding mission. And come here and give us a single evidence. Take your time. Interview anybody who you, you want, whomever you want. But give us a single evidence. We, int we, we invited hundreds of journalists. They are here. We told them, go everywhere. They found nothing. Zero.